Hello and welcome in this session we are going to learn what why PostgreSQL has been so famous and who are the top uh, cloud providers which are providing the PostgreSQL as a managed service. So uh, you can see I have put three logos. So I'll be just talking about those. That's a basic uh, introduction who is providing and in what form. And then we will talk about the basics of PostgreSQL. Okay, so these are the three top providers of PostgreSQL in, in cloud. So the first one we are going to talk about it is AWS. So AWS is, uh, if we talk about the open source databases, so open source relational databases has been in demand because of uh, their increasing popularity because of no licensing. And uh, in the terms of the features which they are being added on regular basis, the new versions which are coming up and they are according to the requirement of the industry. So let's talk about the Postgre because we are talking mostly about Postgre on in this slide like who are the top providers and in what form it is being provided. So if we talk about the AWS, AWS is providing uh, uh, PostgreSQL as RDS in, in terms of the managed database instance. So they provide PostgreSQL as PostgreSQL RDS instance and uh, uh, that is having uh, all the uh, uh, major releases so far. I think 13.3 is the current release which is being provided and same is for the Amazon Aurora cluster as well. So Amazon Aurora cluster is having the two uh, engine. One is for MySQL compatible and another is for PostgreSQL. So this is also being in in uh, in good uh, recent news because of its uh, popularity and uh, the amount of the clustering solution it provides for the Postgre. It's it's uh, tremendous. Uh, on the parallel side, we'll talk about uh, some of the open source databases uh, which are very popular and being uh, uh, provided as a managed service from AWS. So it is MySQL and MariaDB. So if you have worked on My MySQL, then MariaDB, you will not feel uh, any kind of difference because it is a fork out of MySQL. We are not going to talk about the Redshift cluster, wherein at the back end it is going to use the uh, PostgreSQL uh, database as an engine, and uh, it, it is really used as a data warehouse. And using your database uh, migration services, you can uh, you can convert the schema from other database engine to PostgreSQL. Let's say you have a big data warehouse of Oracle database, and in case you you want it to uh, convert it to PostgreSQL. Uh, as a as a data warehouse solution so you can use the redshift cluster so back behind the scene it is going to use uh, the uh, the postgre as the database instance so that's that's the basic about the aws which is providing the open source uh, relational database postgre sql in cloud if you talk about the uh, google cloud google cloud is also providing uh, PostgreSQL in terms of uh, cloud SQL. So when we say about the cloud SQL, it is an umbrella which provides three types of relational database service. One is managed MySQL like AWS is providing and another is PostgreSQL which we are talking about. So this is really uh, doing a lot of things because uh, if we if we see its uh, its report in 2020 uh, fourth quadrant uh, this has been in news because it is doing tremendously good. So Cloud SQL is really going good in terms of the PostgreSQL and uh, managed MySQL. We are not going to talk about uh, the enterprise level database, uh, relational database SQL server, but Cloud SQL, it provides uh, PostgreSQL as Cloud SQL. If we talk about the another major uh, cloud service provider, it is Microsoft Azure Services. So you can Azure is also providing PostgreSQL as Azure database for PostgreSQL. If we talk about another uh, relational databases, so it is being providing for the MySQL and MariaDB. So you can see PostgreSQL has been so popular, so popular that all the top service providers 
for the cloud they are providing it as a managed instance and the reason being is uh, on continual basis there is has been a lot of development which are going on at the community level for the postgre and uh, this is one of the most uh, uh, favorable relational databases which are available in the market and it's day by day it is uh, trying to phase out the enterprise label database so we are not going to talk about the uh, why uh, about the comparison with the enterprise level relational databases with the PostgreSQL but yes the kind of the extensions which are coming up, the kind of the development which are happening back behind the scene, and the PostgreSQL is doing great. So the current stable version is 13, and current uh, preview version of 14 is, is in testing phase. This is just a basic which we have uh, seen earlier as well, like what is PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL or Postgre, they, they are one and the same thing. It is a free and open source relational databases and uh, there is a big community which works behind the scene and they, they work mostly on the extensions, day-by-day uh, uh, -day developments are happening and then it is given to the, uh, the community. If we talk about the relational database like PostgreSQL, it has an SQL compliance. So if we, if we are not already knowing about the SQL compliance, that means there, there is kind of directory which says, uh, I believe it is 177 features of uh, SQL compliance. Uh, say for example, the create table, select table, insert in the table, or uh, these kind of, these are some kind of SQL compliance. So there are, about 177 uh, SQL uh, directory list out of that PostgreSQL is meeting the condition of 170. So this is this is one of the relational database which is so close to the SQL compliance and this is also known as the world's most advanced open source relational database. And as you have seen in the previous slide, all the top most service provider of the cloud, they are working on it and they have given it a place as a managed service. If we talk about the history, it was first uh, in 1996, it was uh, uh, named as the Postgre and uh, it is the, the it is successor of the uh, database which was called as Ingress right and uh, in 2007 it was uh, uh, renamed from uh, uh, renamed to PostgreSQL because of its compatibility with SQL and uh, so PostgreSQL or Postgre they, they are one and the same thing what are the features of the PostgreSQL since we know it is uh, SQL compliant so it it supports transaction and if you say about the relational database it has to support the asset property say for example the bank application each and every transaction which is happening it has to be atomic consistent isolated and durable we are not going to talk about what are those but it is like it is so popular that it is it is it is trying to make its own place in the industry right and uh, it is also being used as a data warehousing solution like uh, uh, Redshift cluster, which is being offered by by AWS as PostgreSQL database managed service. And uh, most of the database service providers in the cloud, if you talk about AWS, you talk about Google or Azure, they have provided the inbuilt support. They have the database uh, migration services what is that doing it is it is making sure that whatever uh, uh, enterprise databases you have you you using their service you can transform that to you can convert them to PostgreSQL so it is not like 100 percent migration is is automatic there are some of the things wherein you have to take manual action because the there is a difference in the engine and it is a kind of heterogeneous migration but the idea behind this is if topmost service providers are providing this kind of migration services that means PostgreSQL is doing great and this is something which is which is asking all the all the uh, uh, the engineers which are in in this field to learn and work on about it 
this is just a basic of uh, of the background uh, history like 1982 it was uh, uh, called as in grace then it was called as post gray and it was uh, uh, being used in Berkeley and then for the first time in 1994 it was uh, released as post gray 95 95 version was was released and now it is a version 3 and uh, from 1996 its first release version 6.0 was released since then it is it is in news but in recent years uh, recent years it has been very very popular because of the kind of the community work which is happening and the kind of uh, of support we uh, it is being it, it is being brought up and all the service providers uh, we talk about the cloud they are offering uh, new features and the uh, extens extensions which are in place. So one of the most important feature of uh, PostgreSQL is multi-version concurrency uh, control. So it is like you can have uh, concurrent access to data and in the multi-version concurrent uh, model what is happening irrespective of the current state of the database you can see a snapshot of the database like how it was sometimes uh, ago so it, it is something like uh, you can you can see uh, the data which was which was available earlier as well though there are a lot of pros and cons which are causing the slowness in the database and you have to perform some kind of vacuuming you you need to delete the dead tuples but it is it is part of and it is being offered as one of the best uh, feature from postgresql it is synonymous to your locking mechanism which is which is there in your uh, enterprise level relational databases so since it is not offering that kind of locking uh, so it is it is becoming so so popular there is a concept of a schema like uh, other uh, enterprise relational databases so you have this kind of concept over here so you can create a schema over here so multiple schema and if this if you wanted to use the same name so those can be used over here so nothing different from others but it is like these features are available uh, there is a huge support for dif different kind of database uh, data types and uh, some of the newer type of uh, uh, data types which are not available in other other uh, databases. We are talking about both uh, open source and the enterprise label relational databases. Asset compliance, we all know what it is and uh, uh, PostgreSQL is is uh, compliant with that. That's why it is being used in most of the uh, the uh, OLTP applications where this kind of uh, compliance is required. We have a lot of uh, database administration tool which are available. So if you're working in the cloud also, and since you do not have the access to SSH because you are being, uh, we are using the service as a managed service. So uh, port number 22 or uh, that kind of uh, accessibility to the operating system is taken away, but you have the tools using which you can connect to, to the uh, database which is hosted in the cloud. So you can use uh, PSQL or uh, you can use the PG admin or if you have PostgreSQL Studio, so you can use uh, these. So as a cloud uh, native uh, tool so psql is supposed to be one of the strongest tool in in terms of the uh, cli if you are familiar with the pg admin the administration of uh, postgresql is very very simple so these are some of the service providers which are there apart from the three most uh, uh, successful service provider of PostgreSQL in the cloud. So in 2007, it is Heroku who started providing the uh, the uh, PostgreSQL as a managed service in the cloud and it has been very, very successful. Looking on the foot, uh, footprints of those, PostgreSQL uh, came up uh, as an enterprise database by the company Enterprise DB. Uh, and it is providing a lot of features which are not being provided by other, other cloud service providers. So, so it is really doing great. When it was so successful, then uh, the big cloud service providers like AWS, they started releasing it and in the 2013, 
the first version of PostgreSQL in the cloud was released as a relational database service. In 2016 only, uh, it released uh, Aurora cluster, uh, with the, which is a clustering solution, uh, PostgreSQL cluster, which I believe it has some 15 read replicas which you can create out of it. I, I believe that's the correct number. And then in 2017, uh, Microsoft Azure released the Azure database for PostgreSQL. So the th three big players, they have already released it. And uh, then you have the Alibaba Cloud and, uh, and IBM Cloud. They also release similar kind of PostgreSQL service. So in short, open source relational database service like PostgreSQL is making its place in the cloud and it is doing really great. And that's all about it. I hope it's going to help. Thank you.